Mr. Malgat, I have a few more seconds. I want to thank the regional um, uh, group for bringing this really important motion to the floor today. And Minister, I know that you get it, but Minister, there's absolutely no excuses whatsoever. No excuses for the lack of, of transport or the lack of help with transport in rural areas. You will know that I've, I come from Belmullet. To get to a hospital appointment in Galway is a six hour round trip. We are in the middle of a cost of living uh, crisis, absolute crisis. And the fact is that people, people with disabilities do not have the money to be able to go to their hospital appointment. So you have the, the, the backlog uh, up in Galway Hospital and in other hospitals where you have consultants waiting for people and people are absolutely in a dilemma because they cannot afford to get to the hospital appointments. One way that would help them to uh, in affordability would be the mobility allowance. The mobility allowance was absolutely cruel to cut that. It was cruel. And it was done by Fine Gael, aided by Labour, and supported by Fianna Fáil in the confidence and supply. It didn't. Look at it. it no, but just, were you, were you not? Oh, so they, right, they did it all on their own. Well, fair play to them. Um, but no, and I, and I take that back, Minister. But uh, like, it is just so serious. And I'm not sure that people, you know, it, it's, it, people can get on a train or on a, on, a, on a bus or whatever to get to where they need to get to. But somebody with a disability living in Black Sod, trying to get to Galway, because don't forget, we privatised and centralised everything because we thought that was a really good idea, without ever thinking about what the transport links would be for people. And it's the people who are most marginalised, the people who are on the lowest incomes that cannot get uh, to where they need to get. We are absolutely, we created this social exclusion. We created this e economic exclusion and, and we must take ownership for it. We must take ownership for it. This just didn't happen, happen by design. It's absolutely disgusting. And when it said, I, I want to know when are we going to get past the review stage? Because the review stage, everything is always being reviewed and being looked at. But that's no good to the person waiting in Mayo for their hospital appointment today or waiting to be able to, to, uh, to, to travel to where they need to be able to travel to because of affordability and the lack of rural transport. And then we decide it's a great idea, well, let's put a carbon tax on top of it, just in case that they're not suffering enough. So if somebody wants to, if, if somebody with a disability, on disability allowance, wants to get to a hospital appointment, they have to forfeit the whole of their disability payment to be able to get to that appointment. So what are they supposed to eat for the rest of the week? How are they supposed to heat their homes for the rest of the week? This has to be prioritised. And I'm asking you, Minister, please prioritise transport for people with disabilities and people living in rural areas. Gormaga.